Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and Mikhail Mukin. This game was played in Baku in 1972. And where is Baku? Baku is the capital city of Azerbaijan. In this game Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started at E4. Mukin played C5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, defending, a6, knight dwarf, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, b5, tal castle kingside, bishop to b7, threatening b4 and winning the pawn on e4. Rook to e1, knight from b to d7, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. It is black to move. Black played knight to c5, why not bishop to e7? Because in some previous games this move has been played. Bishop takes on e6, and after pawn takes bishop, Knight takes on e6, forking the queen and the pawn, and after queen to b6, knight takes on g7. To avoid that, Mukin played knight to c5, defending the pawn and also threatening to kill the cardinal. It is white move. How should white improve his position? How to save the bishop? What would you do? If you wish, you can. Pause the video and you can try to guess the move that Tal played. Are you ready? Tal played bishop to d5. Would you play this too? b4. What's wrong with taking the bishop? Let's have a look. If pawn takes bishop, then pawn takes pawn and discover check. After bishop to e7, Bishop takes knight and after pawn takes bishop, knight to f5 and white is winning. That is why in this position Mokin played b4. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop. White knight on c3 is under attack. Can you find the best spot for the knight? Is it knight to a4? Hmm. What would you do? Tal played knight to d5. E takes on d5. If bishop to e7, then knight to c6 attacking the queen, and after queen to d7, knight from d takes on e7, winning for white. So, we have Pawn takes knight. And perhaps just one more variation. If knight to c5, then bishop takes on f6. Pawn takes bishop. Knight to c6 attacking the queen. Queen to c8. And then white would play knight to f6. And where is the king going? Perhaps king can go to e8. Oh! He went there. So this is checkmate. Okay, so we have e takes on d5. Pawn takes pawn, discover check. We have already seen what happens if bishop goes to e7, then bishop takes knight, and after perhaps knight to c6. So we have king to d7. White to move. How would you continue? Perhaps knight to c6 comes to mind, but Tal wants to bring his queen in the game and he played c3 with the idea to play queen to a4. We have b3. Well, if knight goes to c5, preventing queen to a4, then simply c takes on b4. And there is just one more variation. Queen 
to a5 looks very interesting. What did Tal prepare for this? Let's have a look. c takes on b4, attacking the queen. Queen takes pawn. Bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. a3 attacking the queen. Queen to b6. And now queen to h5, sacrificing the knight. Queen takes knight. Queen takes on f7 check. King to c8. Rook to e8 check. Knight to d8. And then rook to c1 check is winning. So in the game we have b3. Queen takes pawn on b3. Now knight to c5 because pawn takes pawn is no longer possible. Queen is under attack. Queen to c4. Queen to c8. If, for example, rook to c8, then b4, and after knight from c to e4, queen takes on a6, knight takes pawn on c3, rook from a to c1, and white is winning. So, we have queen to c8, knight to c6, h6, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, Rook lift, king to c7. Interesting picture, isn't it? Look at the black king. It looks like the black king is saying, you can get my lady only over my dead body. And that is exactly what Tal is planning. b4. Mukin played rook to g8. Mukin resigned without waiting for Tal's response, which is pawn takes knight. Surely he considered knight to d7 the most obvious move and it loses on the spot too. Can you see how? Check winning the queen after king to b7, knight takes queen. What a game! Did you see Tal's killer moves in this position? Bishop to d5. And then, soon afterwards, the knight came on the square that was defended by the pawn. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.